Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back once again to Fat Cat Collections. Today, I got another amazing watch by Spinnaker. So let's get right into it. Let's check it out. So, of course, we have the box. Pretty straightforward. You folks know I never really get too involved in the box. It's just the packaging. It comes in right. Um, although sometimes, you know, if you are gifting this, it's always nice to have a pretty cool presentation. This is pretty basic. They really want you to know this is the Picard. So very cool. Um, if you haven't checked out my other videos I've done on this watch, check them out. I have this also on the channel in black, and you're going to be seeing another edition uh, coming soon, maybe two editions. So I'm just going to go ahead and slide it open here. We have the outer sleeve. Spinnaker branding right across the front. Uh, Spinnaker always uses kind of earthy colors, I would say. Uh, if I remember correctly, most of the watches I reviewed by them. Spinnaker is one of my favorite brands. They give you a lot of bang for your buck. Uh, maroon, blue, open it up. We have kind of red faux interior, warranty card. You know, the traditional stuff that we get uh, when unboxing a watch. Uh, I'm not going to go through all that any longer. Let's get right into the watch, which is what you guys came here to see. So this is the Picard. Uh, if you are new to this channel or new to Spinnaker and haven't checked out the Picard, there's not a lot of watches out there on the market like this for this price point. So check it out. This has a huge sapphire lens with an AR coating, real, real huge swooped swooped dome crystal on this super unique it's kind of reminds me of um watches kind of like the hydromax by invicta these are the kind of these dive watches that are meant for deep depth ratings uh and we're going to get into that as well um but it gives you the look of i know rolex did one uh the the uh what was it the deep sea challenge where they took a watch down to the mariana trench trench they basically make these watches super thick Really thick crystal for extreme depth rating. Now, this does not have an extreme depth rating. It's only got 55 ATMs of water resistance. So this is more of sort of like a homage to your vintage old school dive watches that use really huge crystals. It's a great looking piece. Screw down crown, uh, signed crown, of course. It's kind of the basic stuff. I don't, I try to get away from like the standard YouTube watch reviewers where they're really, you know, kind of bore you with the same old stuff, right? I mean, we all know most watches have screw down crowns, right? These are kind of like the basic check boxes, which I will go over regardless, because we have to kind of think about the folks who are not uh, watch addicts like myself who may not know this stuff. So again, we do have a signed crown. Basic signed crown just means it's got the company's logo on it. That's pretty standard. Nice solid crown. This is very easy to turn. It's not something that's going to be difficult like this duck. So I'm wearing it's more of a dress watch, but harder crown to kind of adjust. Not that it's really a big concern. Uh, unidirectional rotating bezel. Uh, nice smooth action. No back play on this. Uh, that's you know pretty standard on good quality watches nowadays. It's not something that's like so you know like a lot of folks who are you know watch snobs in the watch community who claim like oh Rolex watches imagine it's like it's some like feat of engineering to make a decent bezel. It's not. You can get a decent bezel for 100 bucks. This one is exceptional, though. Uh, we do have an illumination on the pip, kind of like an arrow pip here. You can already see that this is actually in broad daylight here in my office, uh, right next to a window. You can actually see this sort of, sort of somewhat glowing already, which is quite incredible. Uh, the loom on this, they just say it's loom. They don't actually have the type of loom. It just says applied indexes with loom, which normally, to be honest with you, most of the time when a company doesn't specify specifically the loom or they're not bragging about the loom, normally it, it's inferior. But this, I have to tell you, it's glowing pretty well considering. Uh, this domed crystal also sort of gives this sort of like, um, and you can't really see this on video, but it has sort of like this magnifying kind of, uh, look almost like you're sort of looking through a magnifying glass. Um, I'm not sure if it actually is magnifying the, the face, but it sort of gives kind of a, a little bit of a, a um, I'm going to call it like a distortion. It's not, it's very easy to read. Uh, what else? Um, you know, again, 316 stainless steel. We have the helium release valve on the side here at what is that, the roughly 11, 10 o'clock position. Uh, some branding on the back. Spinnaker's got, what did they put on here? Looks like some sort of, um, some sort of ocean rover, some sort of submarine research vehicle. It says here PX-15. Um, you know, pretty cool. I like that they've, you know, kind of kept that theme, that dive theme into the watch with some engraving on the back. Um, now, this one is done in the blue, and this is like a matte royal blue. Uh, very cool. So, all right, so who would get this watch? So this is a super unique watch. And if you like those old school vintage dive watches, um, they can be extremely expensive if you if you look at old school deep divers. And this is something that really 
I think fits the bill for a lot of people to get something extremely unique. You're not going to find a lot of watches at this price point with a domed crystal like that. It's extremely unique. And even on this video, you can't really see if I can kind of get that. I mean, it's, it's really quite spectacular, to be honest with you. Three levels of micro adjustment on the bracelet, all 316 stainless steel. It's a heavy, chunky, beefy watch. Um, definitely for the folks who are looking for something very unique without jumping into something, uh, you know, it's going to, you know, be overly expensive, right? Uh, what else here? So let me just read to you their spiel here. This is a Marvel Engineering uh, vintage styling fused with the rigor of modern day watch making the Picard is reestablishing a new aesthetic and dive watch design. It's unmistakable bold presence. Uh, it says here it still holds to the wrist comfortably. Again, that is subjective and offers readability and function while truly being a standout watch in any collection. So that's their little sales pitch. Uh, two year warranty buying this directly from Spinnaker. They say here the crown is screw lock. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, this to me just feels like your typical screw down crown. I'm not sure if there's some sort of, um, when they mention things like that, and I've harped on this for a while, Spinnaker is part of Dartmouth brands, brands like RGMT, Nubeo. Um, I wish it is something that they would put more information on here, right? Um, like screw lock. I've never heard of that before. In all the years I've been reviewing watches, I have 450 watches in my collection. I've never heard of screw lock. So I've heard a screw down, and maybe that's what they meant. Case size on this, 45 millimeters, 21 millimeters in case thickness. That is all the way to the top of the crystal. It's a thick watch, 52 millimeters lug to lug. Uh, and that's about it. 316 stainless steel, although it doesn't say 316. Usually that's what they use. Um, 250 grams in weight, and that's really about it for the check boxes. Uh, now, as far as color options here... We do have a whole bunch of color options, and they just came out with some more. So you guys are going to be seeing the Damascus uh, face version that I have. I just haven't reviewed yet. That's like a black bezel with that Damascus. It is available in some new variations as well. You always, The typical colors this first came out uh, was just the green, the blue, and the black. And they did come out with a Picard purple, a baby blue, a yellow, an orange, a green. And then, of course, we have the skeletonized versions. Now... The only thing I will say about this, uh, aesthetically, and this is just my opinion, I think the original ones are the best with either the black, green, or blue face with the matching bezel. The new ones, I'm still going to get my hands on one. I like the baby blue and blue. It's pretty cool, too. But the orange and yellow, you folks know if you've been watching me for a while, I'm a big fan of Doxa watches, although I will never own one. It's just too expensive for, I just don't see the point in spending $2,000 on a watch. It's just my personal preference, right? Uh, can, I, can I afford it? Absolutely. Can, can go buy a whole bunch of them tomorrow. But I I just can't see the fun in doing that when you can get a Tactical Frog or a Pagani Design that's extremely similar. And I'm not looking for a real tool watch. So, you know, again, I, I just, I wouldn't spend the money. So the only gripe I have with their new color options is I would have liked to have seen them do the, these bright colors with a stainless steel bezel instead of this matte finished bezel. I think these matte finish bezels or the color match bezel works great on this particular watch, but I don't really, it's just personal preference. I don't like when they do a black bezel with a, a bright colored face watch. I'd like to see that color pop all the way out to the bezel. So my only gripe with the new colors is that they should have went with an orange bezel, a yellow bezel to match the face of the watch or done one in a solid stainless steel bezel. I think it just would have looked better, but that's just my opinion. But um, and I'm entitled to it, but I do think of the options available, my favorites are going to be the originals, the all black, this one here, the blue, the green, which normally I wouldn't go towards green. I actually like the green in this one. Their skeleton faces are great. Um, they actually have that color match bezel, but you know, again, that's just personal preference by the one that really makes you happy. That's why they have differences. That's why they have color options because not everybody's going to be drawn to the same thing. But it's an incredible watch. It's a unique watch. And whenever I wear one of these, um, you know, generally people are noticing the watch. And you have to kind of be somebody who's either, um, you know, when you look at big, bold watches like the Invictus, right, those things kind of draw people in who aren't watch collectors. So something like this, you're going to have to have somebody who's into watches to notice it on your wrist because it is more of a subtle watch. And I say that loosely because it's really, I mean, it's really not a subtle watch. It's big. It's 45 millimeters not gigantic, but it's a nice wrist presence. Um, I'm glad they went with a 45 as opposed to like a 42. Uh, it just adds a little more to the wrist. But, you know, it's it's definitely something that when you put this on your wrist, you're going to feel that it is a substantial watch, that it does feel extremely solid. My only warning 
would be that if you are clumsy and you're a guy who smacks your watches on things all the time, having a crystal stick up like that, you know, it's probably a matter of time before you crack it on the wall and damage it. But again, these are very durable watches. Most watches out there are durable, but there is, you know, good luck and bad luck. And there's a limit. I have smacked watches on walls before and I'm very careful and I haven't damaged anything, knock on wood, but something like this, um, I think I did smack the, the black one that I have and you know, it didn't damage it, but it is a possibility when you have a crystal exposed like that, you do just have to be a little more careful with it. But again, Sapphire is very tough. All crystals are very tough. Sapphire is most scratch resistant. So having that crystal stick up, um, you know, you're not going to, you know, it's nearly scratch proof. So it's really nothing to worry about. Um, but, you know, Sapphire crystal is not as shatter resistant as a softer type crystal. So as you start going up the scale of hardness, I believe you start to lose shatter resistance, but I could be wrong in that, but I don't think I am. Um, but I just don't think, you know, a lot of watch guys really want you to believe that, you know, if you don't have this feature that it's prone to failing. If you don't have this automatic movement, you're getting something garbage. And it's just not the case. Speaking of automatic movement, one of the most important checkbox on this watch, let's see if they actually list it on here. Uh, yeah, so, so they don't list the movement on here, which is incredible. Again, I, it, it annoys me that they didn't list the movement um, because this is, you know, that is when people are buying watches, that's what people want to know about, right? And they just have automatic three hands with date. I'm going to lean and I'm going to kind of speculate that this is probably an NH series or a Miyota of some sort, most likely an NH series. Let me see if they added it to the new uh, release watches here. Sometimes they just won't update the website with their um, older models. Yeah, still still three hands a date. So, uh, or sorry, so, excuse me, automatic with hands on the, so the, it looks like the, the skeletonized face might use a Miyota, and this one might use an NH series. Um, again, I just don't know. But if this is, you know, on your radar of watches, most of the Spinnaker watches, they're either, either using the Miotas or the NH series movements. And so you're getting a reliable automatic movement that's fantastic. Um, it's really nothing to really be concerned with. But if you are on the fence and you're like, God, I want to buy it, I'm sure other people have reviewed this and, um, you know, listed that. Uh, I can reach out to the company to get that information for you if you need it before making a purchase. And speaking of making a purchase, do take advantage of my coupon code and link in the description of this video. Save yourself a little bit. Again, those coupon codes work on most purchases, but it just depends if they're having an insane sale. Sometimes they won't work. But this is an incredible piece and definitely a real addition to your collection. Uh, let me throw it on the wrist here. Now I pride myself on showing you guys what it looks like. Although this one I have not sized yet. So um, I've been wearing the black one. I've been wearing the, um, the what is it? The, um, the, the uh, I want to say Damascus face is not what I meant. The, uh, drawing a blank here, folks. Um, meteorite dial. So this one is going to be flopping around a little bit, but that's all right. I'll just kind of hold it and, and you'll get an idea what it looks like. And i like to show you guys what it looks like on the wrist. I'm five foot eight, I weigh 183 pounds. I have a seven inch wrist. So you can see what a watch looks like on a guy my size, my height, my weight. And of course, you know, a 45 millimeter watch, some folks are going to say that this is huge. Some folks are going to say that this isn't big enough. So the nice thing about watches, there are so many different options out there that there really is something for everyone. And, uh, you know, if you haven't, you know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, sometimes people don't know that the quality you get with a Spinnaker watch, it's on par with 99% of the watches out there. You're getting exceptional quality. Uh, if you like Nubeo, if you like RGMT and you've seen those brands, Spinnaker is one of, the, one of those Dartmouth brands, you are getting exceptional value. And I think this is definitely one that, uh, I don't know, it's, it's definitely a unique watch. When I think of all the watches that I have in my collection, that 450 <laughs> Uh, 450 amount of watches. It's it's uh it's really difficult to try to find things that are super unique and just that haven't been done right. And so if you start looking on Google and just looking for vintage dive watches, you know you're gonna find that vintage styling that uh, you find with like Doxa watches, uh, Aqua Dive, that kind of. The vintage style case, um, but you know, something like this, it's, it is very difficult to find something with a crystal quite like this. And I remember kind of on my watch journey, looking around for watches and when the Hydromax came out, uh, it was so big and chunky, it had that big crystal. It's just really unique and different. And it just screams like deep diver, right? Some folks may look at this and say, hey, 55 ATMs, that's not really 
a lot, you know, for a dive watch with a crystal like that. But remember, these are not these watches aren't really meant to be go to the Mariana Trench, right? They're not trying to set records or you know do anything like that. It's just giving you an incredible quality watch, made well, good quality materials, good quality movement. Um, assuming it's the NH series, which I'm I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, you just get a lot of bang for your buck. So speaking of price, right now they range in price from about four. Looks like 550 up to 700. They do have a 25% off coupon code now. Use my coupon code as well. Uh, I forget what it is, maybe 15%. But always be a smart shopper. One thing I don't like about watch companies, and, and, and again, I'll be honest with you, Dartmouth does this as well. They're going to put the huge markup on these things, and then they constantly bring the watches on sale. And I just feel like if they just picked a, re a reasonable price, a price where they want to make money on, that they're, they feel comfortable making money at that price point, Great, leave it on there, and then actually have sales to really you know hype it up and, and get people to buy it. When they say, "Hey, you know what? I've been looking at that Spinnaker watch. I've been looking at it. I know that they're probably going to do you know a sale once every three or four months." But Dartmouth, a lot of their watches are on sale every other week. There's always some promotion, so it is something that you should um, kind of wait on, you know. But keep in mind supply and demand. So as these watches become less available. Uh, you're going to have to try to find them either on eBay. That's always a possibility to get some good deals. Um, you're going to have to just kind of, I don't know, you're just going to have to be a smart shopper. Um, now, if you go and buy this watch for, like for instance, here's a perfect example. The blue is $550, right, right now. If you want the black, you can get it for $329. And I don't know if that's, that. Pr you probably won't get the coupon code on top of that. Let me just double check here and see. Yeah, so $329, but it's sold out, and it probably sold out really quickly. Uh, if you go with any of the other colors, yeah, roughly, this one here is kind of weird. They have the Picard Automatic, and why do they have it listed twice? So they have an island blue in a dark, I think I'm saying this right, Car Um They are look identical to me. It just looks like one might be a tad lighter. And it looks like the, the one that they, now they even have, it's so strange to me, they call it island blue, and then they have it listed beneath it, it says Corsica Blue Limited Edition, but they have <laughs> several different names here. So I don't know why there's I don't know why there's two different name blues. But to be honest with you, the blue is so close. I would pick the one that's cheaper. I don't really think that um, it, it's worth it to spend more for a color name because when I look at these colors, I don't know. It looks identical to me. Let me just go back here. Yeah, I don't see any difference there. Unless they got the wrong picture, I don't know. But anyway, you got a lot of color options. Check it out. Let me know if I can help in any way. As always, use my link and coupon code um, and subscribe to the channel. Take care, folks.